Hello, this is Mish from Downtime Distractions with a first look review of Wonder A Beautiful Apocalypse. So with all our first look reviews, please check the description below for specific detail on the difference between our full review versus our first look review. So this game is a single player puzzle game with its main concentration on storytelling. So it's developed by Kodak Games and published by KISS Limited. Previous title from these developers was a dungeon crawler type game called Darkened. It received a mixed response from the Steam community. So this title is coming out on the 4th of June and the retail price will be $9.99 US on Steam. It will be slightly cheaper if you buy it directly from their website or pop along to itch.io website and buy it from there. So I'll link to those sites below. So before I get onto the storytelling and the gameplay, I have to bring up some concerns around the engine and the graphics options. So I normally speak of the story and the gameplay at this point, but first I have to bring this to your attention. It's an important note towards the start of the review for the people who don't want to watch the entire video. For me, it's a big sticking point. So it's the lack of options around resolution with this game, because that can really upset some people with a limitation like this. So this game is built on an old engine that only supports 480p native. So you have no options to change the resolution. It's either 480p windowed mode, which is about a quarter of a screen if you're running 1920 by 1080, or full screen with big borders. So option menu is also very lacking, but I'll show you that shortly. I just wanted to alert you to this um, if you don't watch the entire video. So let's move on to the story and the gameplay. So the story, it's very brief, it's very simplistic, it's about two lonely robots in a post-apocalyptic world. I won't go into it much further than that, just to save the spoilers. But it's not about survival, it's more about exploration, understanding what happened, but mainly about the companionship between the two robots. So the gameplay mechanics, with this game, there is no comprehensible dialogue. So the entire story is told through the environment and through the robots' interactions. Wanda has a lot of cutscenes in it, so for the most part you'll be just watching and trying to understand the story. But it does throw in some puzzles here and there. There's about five main puzzles. They are interesting and challenging. So let's look at the UI very briefly and then move on to a summary. So this is the options menu. So this is all we have. So on the main screen, press F1 and it loads it up here. So we have launch in full screen mode. This then didn't actually work for me. Every time I lo load the game, I have to press Alt Enter to maximize the screen. Reduce screen flickering. I didn't have screen flickering to start with, so I can't tell you if this works or not. Play BGM, play BGS. That's all around music, turning off music and turning off sound effects. Um, once again, not acceptable. We want sliders for this type of stuff. That's the bare minimum. We do have the option to gamepad uh, rebinding and keyboard rebinding, but as a minimum rule in a game like this, we should at least be able to choose um, the resolution we should be able to choose what monitor we want to watch it on. We want to be able to turn the sound, um, the music volume up and down. Um, we want to be able to turn the audio track up and down from a vocal perspective and also a sound effect perspective as well. So really not enough in here at all. And it did have a negative impact on my gameplay experience. So something to note here, definitely negative point for me. So let's look at graphics, audio and gameplay in a summary. So graphically, very, very cute characters, but the limitation graphically with the engine is a real downer for me. It really brought the game down a lot. Um, you just lose that kind of clarity by making it full screen. Not ideal at all. I mean, you, with a game like this, you don't have to have a lot of graphics options, but at least a resolution options to get the screen to fit nicely on your monitor. For me, it was definitely lacking. So a big concern around that for me. But yeah, as I said, very cute uh, characters. Um, it's a very kind of adolescent uh, children's book style to it. So it's hand drawn. Um, yes, yeah, a very reminiscent to a children's storybook looking. So audio, really good. It's got a fantastic score done by David Lister. So. It's just amazing how a powerful score like that can really trigger emotions. It's very impressive. The sound of the robots as well. Um, 
I mean, there's a lot of information given to you just by the noises from the robots between each other. So that's also very impressive as well. Um, a little bit repetitive here and there with the sounds, but you know it does deliver that story without any words. So that in itself is also impressive. So the gameplay with this title, so the little puzzles, they're a nice touch. Um, for that interaction which all games need so it's good instead of just watching it and it becomes a movie or a TV show you know you got the interaction you're actually involved with the game but the real power of this game is the story initially I was very uninspired I thought this would seem seemed very mundane and I thought I could pick exactly what was going to happen uh, but at some point I started building that connection with the characters um, and towards the end of it it, it, it was quite powerful um, to add to that, the really well done score helped trigger the emotional chords within that story. So, you know, if you're wanting an interesting story, it's not massively complex, but you definitely do feel for the characters, you might want to look at this game. So I'll leave it here and say, very powerful story, very simplistic, uh, cute little characters, but big concerns about the graphics issues I had. Um, for me, if that wasn't there, if I just had the option of resolution and you know limited graphics, it would be so much better. It's just a real pity that they built this on the older engine and have that limitation. So one other thing I just want to mention as well is the value for money. So $9.99 for this title. I finished it in three and a half hours. So and that wasn't rushing as well. So you could say maybe three three hours, two and a half hours. Is that value for money? Um, so $9.99 versus that three hours. But you could argue it is because there's other activities which are going to be similar cost, and also other games which are probably get you get less content. Um, you could look elsewhere as well at the other sites which are providing this game cheaper than Steam, so you could save a few dollars that way. Uh, and you know, if you if it brings it down to four or five dollars, I think that's more of an acceptable price for a game like this. Um, very powerful story, but still, um, only three hours worth of content, a little bit steep. So on that note, I'll leave it here. So this has been Mesh, and I've been having a first look review of Wanda, A Beautiful Apocalypse. I hope I've given you the information you need to know to purchase or not. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for future content from us, and I'll see you next time.